Hi guys, this is Jot. In today's video, we are going to check out the Koshami Guff or Goof or Gumifix for the, well, third time, technically. Uh, you might have seen my first attempt. There is a video about that one. And then I attempted it one more time because the first one was not really successful. It didn't really impress me. Um, I tried it a second time. It didn't work out, but I will tell a few more sentences about that in a minute. And this is the third attempt. Um, <clears throat> basically, at the first one, some of you mentioned that I'm using the wrong um, spray head. Now I put a canyon on it, so no one can complain that it's the wrong one. So I put a quality spray head on it. Uh, but sprayed it on, let it dry, it didn't work out for the second time either. Then some of you said that I supposed to spray it on apply with a brush and then uh, with a paintbrush, then um, either let it dry or buff it with a microfiber. Done that one too, it didn't work. And then I was keep having a look at other videos because I didn't want to release that one for the second try either because the second one for me was even a bigger disappointment than the first one. Um, However, I was keep looking at other um, reviews and there was one pattern I recognized, which in those tests, I realized that the pattern on the floor mat, rubber mat, was usually like very light, either almost non-existent at all or just some lines and that's it. My floor mat and the one that I had tried for the second time were like this honeycomb and like this waffle uh, shapes and it didn't work and oddly as i said all the reviews that i've seen were either like this type or even with less pattern on those ones so now i'm going to try it on this one just to see if it works i'm going to rinse it i will use a drill brush and, and some apc to clean it then i will um, rinse it again and i will let it dry and then i will spray some lightly on the surface and I will spray some on a microfiber applicator block and then I will use the applicator block to spread and then let it dry so we will see how is it. Anywho, let's roll!
Okay, boys and girls, that was the Koshemi goof for the third attempt. Um, I have to say, more or less, it worked. Mostly, it dried nicely. It was not slippery. However, there were some spots where it was still remaining slippery. So I had to uh, buff it with a microfiber towel. That part is not written in the instructions. According to the instructions, I either just spray it on and leave it to dry, which didn't work or I use a sponge or applicator to apply and then leave it to dry but it doesn't say anything about buffing so let's just say according to the instruction manual it's not working or majority of the cases it's not working maybe some are lucky or somewhere in the laboratory it works that way but in the real life it's not otherwise it's a good product so I'm not saying it's bad uh, and what else yep you need to keep in mind that it wasn't working uh, on this uh, waffle and honeycomb shape uh, floor mats these simple ones it works not according to the instructions but it works so you can make it work so i can hands on how to recommend the product it's okay um, but i have to say that prior to uh, i bought it i had a look at this product in different um, car detailing or car care Facebook groups and every time someone said that it's not working and the surface remained slippery for them people were like oh because you are not using it correctly you just need to spray it on and you leave it dry and that's it that doesn't work other than that I can hands on how to recommend as I said the product is okay and that concludes the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one bye bye